Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex from Answered Tech, and today I'm going to be going over some of the biggest features in the new Android 5.1 Lollipop update for the Droid Turbo. Before I get into the features, I just want to let you guys know that this update totaled 771 megabytes, and it took me about 20 minutes to download on Wi-Fi. After the update finished downloading, a screen popped up that told me some of the new features of this update, and also told me it would take approximately 20 minutes to complete the installation. Also, keep in mind that you can't make or receive phone calls, including emergency calls, during the installation. After the update is done installing, and Android upgrades and optimizes all of the apps on your phone, you're ready to start using the new software. The overall look and feel of the software on the Droid Turbo is quite a bit different than it was on KitKat, mostly due to material design. In my opinion, the look and feel of the software on this phone is greatly improved after the update, mostly due to the smoother animations and more colorful designs across the phone. One of the apps where I really noticed the changes brought forth by material design after this update was in settings. The animations between screens are much smoother, and the color scheme has changed dramatically. This update brings lock screen notifications, so you're able to double tap a notification to open it, and you're able to swipe to the left or right to dismiss it. In settings, you can change if you want all notifications to show up, if you want no notifications to show up at all, or you can hide sensitive notification content. If you swipe down once from the top of your screen, you have access to your notification bar, which allows you to view and dismiss notifications by swiping them away. And then if you swipe down once again, you have access to your quick settings, which allows you to change things like the status of airplane mode or turn Wi-Fi on and off, just by tapping the little icons. If you go into the sound and notification settings of your phone, and then into the interruptions menu, you will see a lot of options as to what your phone will do when you receive a call or a notification. One of these settings allows you to tell your phone what to do when you receive a call or notification. You can either have it always interrupt, you can have it never interrupt, or you can have it interrupt only if it's a priority notification. If you select the setting to either only interrupt for priority notifications or to not interrupt at all, you have to set a time for how long this setting will stay in effect. You can either set it to stay in effect for a certain period of time or indefinitely. You also have the option to set what counts as a priority interruption. A new feature called downtime allows you to either receive no notifications or only priority notifications during certain days of the week and certain times during the day. The new recent apps menu, which has now been renamed to Overview, now lists both the applications you have recently run on your phone, as well as the specific activities within those applications. So for example, if you open the Chrome browser and open a tab within that browser, both the tab and the Chrome browser itself will be displayed as separate menu items. A new feature in this update is called Ambient Display, which will turn on your screen when you receive a notification, but this feature may have a bigger impact on battery life than Moto Display. A neat new feature in this update is that you can make two chopping motions with your phone to turn the flashlight on and off even if your screen is off. In the battery menu in settings, you now have the ability to see the estimated time until your phone will run out of battery. You also have the ability to turn on a battery saving mode, which will reduce the performance on your phone and limit the background processes. With this update, the Droid Turbo now runs on the ART runtime, and this will generally increase the application performance of your phone. There is now native support for trusted devices in this update, so for example with this feature, you could set your Moto 360 as a trusted device, and every time your Moto 360 is connected to your phone, your phone will unlock automatically. So that's about it for this new update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Answered Tech, as well as like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.